Hi friends, GT Coding here. In this uh, video, we are going to add some more CSS to this web page and make it more attractive. In the previous video, what we have done is we have created this basic layout of this web page and we have created five sections and we have created a division for each section and we have also created classes to identify each divisions and then we have added CSS to those classes so this is our CSS we have accessed the classes by using the dot in the CSS and uh, we have applied some proper CSS elements over here okay now if you want to see how our website looks like without the CSS we'll just remove the CSS and say so this is how our website looks like without the CSS so what CSS does is it is called uh, cascading style sheet it styles the HTML tags and it helps to make the HTML more attractive so we will add the style back so now what we'll do is first of all we will remove this uh, space over here we don't want this space so by default a page has some margins so what we'll do is create a star this means that everything on the page will get this CSS element applied to it so we'll write here margin and zero so this will take care of all the margins so now we, what we will do is we will uh, change the font of our heading and make it uh, make it a little better so we will to change the font we will write font family and we will use the font impact now we will uh, change the size of the font font size and we will make it 20 i think 20 is better okay we'll also change the color of the font to yellow okay now what we'll do is change the background color to something dark we'll make it dark red and now we will uh, add some shadow to our text text shadow and we have to provide two parameters for uh, where uh, the shadow should go and uh, also the color of the shadow we will make it black so now we have taken care of our heading we'll just increase the font size a little bit okay now what we will do is take care of the navigation so we'll go to navigation here it is so we will change the color of background color of this navigation to brown and that that looks fine we'll also add some margin over here and uh, below here um, so that it looks a little bit better so margin top 10 pixels and margin bottom 10 pixels uh, now we will make this these corners round to do that we have to add the element border radius and we will make it 10 pixels or uh, I think 20 pixels is fine now we will add some padding to this division for example 10 pixels will decrease the height of this navigation 30 that I think that is that is good enough now what we'll do is add some padding to the content padding 10 pixels and now if you notice that uh, when we added padding to this content our sidebar has shifted down the reason is that when we add 
padding of 10 pixels to this content 10 more pixels will be needed for this content to stay here and what we have done is we have given 400 pixels to content and 200 pixels to the sidebar we have only 600 pixels in our wrapper so what we have to do is reduce we have to reduce some pixels here to add some padding so to do that when we add padding the padding is added to all the sides of the division so what we'll do is remove 20 pixels to make uh, to compensate for the padding of both these sides so we will uh, decrease the width to 380 so that will bring our sidebar up now we will also add some padding to the sidebar 10 pixels we'll do the same with sidebar we'll decrease it by 20 pixels so that's it we have this footer over here we will change we will change the font of footer we will use serif I think that looks good we will uh, change the font size to 15 points ok we will also dec decrease the height of our footer it is ok 30 pixels looks great now what we will do is create a new class uh, create the style for a new class that we have created called title and font family is uh, serif and font size 18 points and background black and color of the font to white so we should add some padding over here now we want this black background to cover the whole width of our content so we will what we'll do is write display and block okay now we are done with that because so now what we'll do is add style to our paragraph so for paragraph I think we want some margin on the top so margin top is 10 uh, 10 pixels and we will change the font family to Georgia now we will also add some padding 10 pixels that looks fine I think we will uh, decrease the margin top to 5 yeah okay now we have added that now the last thing that we want to do is uh, create a navigation bar we will create the navigation in the next video so if you like this video click on the like button if you have any questions regarding this tutorial you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get notified about the latest videos thank you for watching